Life is often messy. Well, let's consider the story of Jim and Elizabeth Elliot. Their story began in the late 1940s. Jim loved God and prioritized his time by studying the Bible above all else. Both he and Elizabeth felt this call to become missionaries, and they wanted to share the love and truth of God with unreached people. Jim's motto was, no fool can give what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. Now in 1955, after several years of ministry serving the indigenous people of Ecuador, Jim felt it was time to share the good news of Jesus with the Alka, a remote people group deep in the jungle. The Alka, however, had a reputation for violence and suspicion towards outsiders. Nevertheless, Jim and his team demonstrated this remarkable willingness to go. But first, they had to locate the tribe and then attempt to make contact. Now at that time, none of this was easy and required communicating in a language that no outsider had ever mastered. One of Jim's teammates, a pilot, believed that if they could find a village, the safest way to make the first contact would be to drop a bucket of gifts from his airplane. And after locating signs of this Alcan village, they did just that over a period of weeks. Now after a while, the Alcas even sent gifts back up in the bucket to this plane. Now at this point, the missionaries felt it was time to meet face to face. So their pilot flew the team in one by one and they set up a camp away from the village while waiting for the Alcas to respond. Now after four days, three Alcas appeared. The group spent two days together in the hope that the Alcas would return from their tribe and bring even more people back with them. And that's exactly what happened. But the team of missionaries quickly realized that this would not be a friendly encounter. Jim, it said, ran excitedly to greet the new arrivals, but he and his team members were immediately attacked. And these five brave missionaries were all killed that day. We know from Jim's journal that even though the missionaries carried weapons for their own protection, each man had promised that he would not kill an Alka who did not know Jesus. Jim Elliot's death was a tragic loss, but this is not how the story ends. What happened next was truly remarkable. You see, Jim's wife, Elizabeth, who is wholeheartedly devoted to listening and obeying God, she answered God's call to enter into this mess of her own grief and anger. And then less than two years later, Elizabeth and her three-year-old daughter moved to live in a remote Alcan village, and they demonstrated love and forgiveness, and many Alcas became followers of Jesus as a result of this. So no longer are they a people known for violence, but are now known by their traditional name, the Huayarani, the true people. Even when the pattern seems messy, unreadable and unfathomable by our human understanding, remember Romans 8.28, which reminds us that for those who love God, all things work together for good. We may not be called into the middle of the jungle, but what messy middle is God calling you to step into? Bearing the image of his love and his goodness.